our fellow African brothers and sisters from our continent, the richest continent in the world, and the most beautiful and most diverse continent in the world. We are here today to salute the fighting spirit of revolutionaries who resisted colonialism and subjugation of the black majority. We therefore are here to salute all liberation heroes and heroines, the kings and the queens who resisted colonial invasion and the freedom fighters who refused to bow to the colonial masters. We are here to salute Haile Selassie, Julius Nyerere, Kwame Nkuruma, Kenneth Kaunda, Patrice Lumumba, Amilka Cabral, Thomas Sankara, Nelson Mandela, Steve Biko, and all those who made us proud by resisting colonialism and imperialism. Africa Day is a celebration and recognition of Pan-Africanism. This day is a day where we celebrate ourselves. This day is a day where we tell the whole world and those who care to listen that we are Africans and we are proud. We are not ashamed of being Africans. We are not ashamed of being black. We kill one another today because we don't know who we are. We call people Zimbabweans. We call people Malawians. We call people who come from outside Makwere Kwere. Whereas we are Makwere Kwere ourselves because we come from where those people come from. None of us come from here. We came from the north and found the Koi and the Sen here in Southern Africa and we settled here. The Koi and the Sen welcomed us here. So we should welcome others as well the same way we were welcomed here. Know your history. You will appreciate our fellow brothers from, and sisters from Africa. Let us celebrate Pan-Africanists like Julius Nyerere. Those are the people we should know their history. Those are the people who welcomed the ANC and the PAC in exile in Tanzania, made it possible for them to be trained and come back to fight against the nonsensical murderous apartheid regime. Today, when we see people from Tanzania, we see enemies. We see people who threaten us because we don't know the history of Africa, that it was people like Julius Nyerere who hosted us, who received us when it was difficult in South Africa during the times of apartheid. You will never appreciate Tanzania. You will never know the role that Tanzania played in our struggle. You will never know the role Julius Nyerere played in the revolution because those who write our history, they distort it to suit the white man and project all our heroes as monsters who never did anything for Africa. We must celebrate African leaders in a manner that is befitting of celebrating such leaders. We must know who's Nkwame Nkuruma. What did Nkwame Nkuruma do for the continent of Africa? The father of independent Ghana who said it is never enough to liberate Ghana alone for as long as other African countries are still oppressed, Ghana is not free. We are free today because of the visionary leadership of Nkwame Kuruma. We need to know these people and know what role they've played. Who is Kenneth Kaunda? Can you tell us the role that independent Zambia played in the liberation of Southern Africa and South Africa in particular? Who is Thomas Sankara? 
What did Thomas Sankara do for the people of his country and the whole of African continent? Begina Faso knew real leadership with Thomas Sankara, the man who initiated progressive programs in Begina Faso, the man who replaced the Mercedes Benz we are driving with runners, who said we cannot drive big cars when our people are suffering. We must downgrade the cars and drive in cars that will not create an impression that we are in it for ourselves. We must make sure that we have leaders who look up to Thomas Sankara as one of their own. Not these leaders who are imposed on us, who are imposed by white media on us. We need leaders that have contributed to make us who we are. Amilcar Capral always teaches us to always respect and tell the truth. Amilcar Capral was one of the great intellectuals and revolutionary leaders produced by our continent. We must be able to celebrate Mauma Gaddafi who wanted to unite the whole of Africa and create one currency which will not be reliant on the U.S. dollar. The brother leader who gave the people of Libya land, who gave the people of Libya houses, livestock, seeds, and equipment to work the land. The man who gave the people of Libya free electricity, free education. The man who created a state bank in Libya. The man who gave women $5,000 every time they gave birth as a sign of appreciation. A tried and tested leader of Africa. Eswatini. What a beautiful name. This mo monarch of Swaziland. He has changed the colonial name Swaziland to Eswatini. South Africa, we still don't have a name till today. Because South Africa is not a name. It's a direction. South of Africa, it's not a name. We need a name for this beautiful country. This country shall be declared Azania because it is Azania. So we don't want to be called South Africa to please the colonizers. We are not South Africa. We are Azania. That's who we are. Because Africa Day means that we must assume the African identity. And in assuming African identity, we must start naming things by their rightful names. Start with your children. You cannot call your children with white people's names. You must first liberate yourself, liberate your mind from white oppression, from white slavery. The liberation of individual mind is important. For as long as your mind is in the hands of the white oppressors, you will never see the need to be a proud African who takes no nonsense from no one, particularly from white minorities. Africa means self-love. African means you must love yourself and you cannot love yourself through identifying yourself with colonizers. And what colonizers want you to do? Today, when we say to our people, we need our land, you are the first one to say, Malema is going to put us into poverty. Why? You heard a white man saying that. You don't believe in that. 
You believe in everything that white man says. Today, white people say Cyril Ramaphosa is the best president. You all believe that. Why? Because white men love Cyril Ramaphosa. You love everything else that lo white man loves. Because you have made yourself in the image of your colonizers. Liberate yourself. Let us have a dignified African arrangement where we speak to each other with respect and dignity. I'm a king. Yes, I'm a king. I think. I'm a king. Okay.